Hey guys, it's Matt from Total MTG here, and I thought I'd do a little video, uh, probably my last one just before Christmas, of my top five cards that I have played with this year. So they've not necessarily come out this year, but they've been my favourite cards that I've played with this year. Um, so it might not necessarily be the strongest or most powerful, but they have been very fun for me to play with. So we are going to start off uh, with my favourite EDH commander of this year, uh, Venza Shaper Savant. Um, I will try to play Mono Blue in nearly every single format that I play, being a Mono Blue player. Uh, this was a, a really good general for me. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, return target spell or permanent to his hand. So basically, it's like a, a camp spell as a general. Um, really like this card. It's a nice foily one from the vaults. Um, yep, I really did enjoy this card. Um, did get hated on quite a bit with Minor Blue because I've run a few counter. Didn't run too many counter spells in the deck, but a lot of bounce effects and stuff like that. Interruption, which. It's never most popular, but I want to play Mono Blue, so Venza was a very good general for me. So on to my um, second favourite card. It's the old Monastery Swiss Beer. Um, play this in standard, modern decks. Um, it's an absolute staple for me when I'm playing red, those kind of decks. Um, you know, your opponent's face when they see turn one Monastery Swiss Beer, the pain has started straight away. You swing for one on turn one. Um, has prowess, and obviously you can just you can just do loads of damage with a Swiss beer, but it's an absolute great one drop and um, really good card. I really enjoy playing the Swiss beer. Um, my other card coming in at number three was Collected Company. Um, like I say, use this in standard and modern. Um, one of our followers, Zubalicious, made a brilliant deck that I played on camera, which was a in standard, which was a uh, green black elves decks. Using Shaman at a pack was just a brilliant combo with Collected Company doing so much damage. Um, in Modern, I've used it in Abzan Company decks and a Green White uh, Company deck. It, you can just get so much value for the, you know, you look at the top six, you put two creature cards, because the mana costs three or less, and obviously some of the, most of the creatures do have an effect when they enter the battlefield as well. Um, just a, you know, a brilliant card, Collected Company, and... Um, Definitely, definitely fun. Casting the end of turn, your opponent goes, oh, not another Coco. So, uh, my second favourite card was Bring to Light. It's a more recent card from Battle for Zendikar. Um, ever since I've seen this card, I've been brewing decks left, right and centre. Uh, probably my favourite deck that I'm playing in modern at the moment is like a Gifts Light, Bring to Light, Gifts deck. Um, using it as a toolbox, just going to search whatever you want. Um, I just, you know, just it's just such a fun card. You know, it, it can just go and get whatever you want at that time, and you cast it for nothing. Um, if you need a Rafa God, you go and get a Rafa God. You know, you can just basically get whatever you need with this card, with the gifts I'm giving in that deck as well. It's just, it's just a, you know, it's like having extra gifts in the deck. It costs a bit more, but I really do love Bring to Light, and you can have such fun with this card. So, my favourite card that I've used this year, it is a Planeswalker, and if you haven't got it, it's an Ugin. Uh, if you've watched my videos, I do love playing an Ugin. Um, it's just such a beast of a card, Ugin. Um, starts off with 7 Lords. It does cost 8 to come in, obviously, but you can plus 2, 3 damage to target creature or player. The minus X, the Exile. Um, the minus 10, gain 7 life, draw 7 cards. Put seven permanents onto the battlefield is just you know it's just epic. Um, but the best thing about Ugin is just your opponent's face when you drop it. You know you drop an Ugin, and they just sigh and just realise you know if you you know you very very rarely lose a game when you drop an Ugin. Uh, in my mono blue Tron deck, you know I got it out as quick as turn four and it's it's just an absolute game winner. Um, Ugin, I just love Planeswalkers and Ugin was just a beast beast of a dragon car for me this year. Ugin the Spirit Dragon, you know, lovely little art there, and a brilliant card. So guys, that was my fav five favourite cards, if I can speak, probably five favourite cards that I've played with this year. Um, if you let me know in the comments what have been your five favourite cards this year, it'd be good to know, you know, maybe you know, yours or some will be the same as mine, maybe they won't. It obviously depends on what, what kind of decks you play and stuff like that. Um, let me know what you think of mine. 
Um, I'm very happy with mine. Like I say, this is personal opinion. Um, they might not be the strongest cards in Magic, but they have, to me, this year been the most fun cards that I have played. So, I would like to sign off, say Merry Christmas to everyone watching and all my subscribers. Um, thanks for all your support this year, and I hope you have a very good Christmas. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.